Hi there. In this video, I just wanted to quickly show you some other options for bringing it for some maps that are out on the web, map services, web services that it can bring in to your QGIS session. You may, you just may not know about this plugin, and that's certainly one of the real powers of QGIS. Is just so many great plugins out there um, to help you with your GIS work. So here I've just got some. These are just some selected pubs around uh, Leicester. I, I know what they are. Um, but if you go to plugins and manage and install plugins, there's a plugin called Quick Map Services, uh, easy to add base maps, and um, and it gives you um, quite a big selection of base maps. So just uh, find um, Quick Map Services and install, and make sure it's um, it's got a tick next to it. So it's Quick Map Services. And then what you do is under the web menu, you'll see Quick Map Services and a big drop down of all the contributors and options. Uh, I've got a quite a big list there because if you go to settings, you can see that you can add a variety of um, contributors and sort of base mapping. So OSM is there, of course, there's some NASA data. You can see the base ones. Um, so they're, they're the sort of more, let's say more reliable ones. and. Um, and by clicking on more services and get contributed pack, you can load what will become this sort of big, uh, much bigger list for you. So if you do that, you'll get a bigger list. Uh, a good way to get, get started with it is, yes, you could go straight to look at some NASA data or USGS, but actually use the search option, search QMS. Click on that. And then let's say I want some, I don't know, I know, I know the Stamer Maps exists, for example. Uh, and there's statement watercolor, so I can add, and you get the um, pretty maps there. Uh, they've got a la uh, label layer as well. You see this tone of labels. So let's click add, and then make sure that's at the top, so it's displayed. Then you get some nice labels. But you see what I mean? It's a very, it's a very quick way to add a um, a variety of. Uh, different maps and you can just see what's out there just just with a search um, you know USGS for example um, you know there's a list and um, that's that. but you can just try try other stuff as well uh, you know terrain for example and it'll come back with a list a, a key thing to remember about this um, there's a little transform going on there with the data but that's okay um, is you, you can see a red dot so that's perhaps um, not active or there's some issue there so really you you, you need to make sure there's um, that they're sort of working and you and there's no way uh, and, and in fact if you click on this and go to valid um, you'll see these these ones are green lit uh, so they're probably all okay um, but if you just want to see all of them um, you'll see the red or yellow ones where there could be some issues so a lot of these are contributor ones you can't really 100% guarantee availability all the times so the base one you usually can so it's good practice perhaps just to go to valid and um, and just stick with the green light ones anyway I hope you find that's useful um, it's just um, lots of nice free maps out there for you to use thank you